My name is Ray Brewer, and this is the Wagabox Capsule. The Wagabox Capsule is an adaptable waterproof enclosure that is designed to work with a wide range of industry standard 20mm glands. Using this glands, the Wagabox Capsule can be adapted for both armoured and non-armoured cable types. The Wagabox Capsule, when appropriately configured, can be used indoors or outdoors, including direct burial into soil or even immersion in water. Now, let's look at some of the features of the Wagabox capsule. The Wagabox capsule is not rectangular like many other waterproof enclosures. Instead, it resembles a hexagonal tube which is closed at one end and has a round lid at the other. This shape is very resilient and makes the Wagabox capsule robust and resistant to distortion. There are also no screws. The lid is secured by three tapered cams that are evenly positioned around the rim of the capsule body. When the lid is fitted, this locking catch engages and prevents access to the enclosure without the use of a tool. To remove the lid, this catch first needs to be depressed. To make it watertight, the capsule has two O-ring seals, one in the base and one in the lid. If the lid is fitted, the cams interlock and the, to create the seal, and the catch is engaged. To release the lid, a small screwdriver or Wagabox thumb tool can be used. Simply press and twist and the lid can be removed. The Wagabox capsule can be installed without fixing, such as direct burial or within a manhole. Where fixing to a surface is required, a separate mounting bracket needs to be fitted. This feature on the side of the capsule allows different fixing brackets to be attached depending on the type of fixture required. This bracket is for mounting onto a flat surface. To remove the bracket, lift the catch and slide off. And those are the main features of the Wagbox capsule. Now let's look at different ways it can be configured. Firstly, there are three colours of capsule available. There's a grey, a black and a clear version. The selection of the grey or black would be purely for cosmetic reasons, as there is no functional difference between them. The clear, however, provides the ability to see the connections without having to open the enclosure, and this can be particularly useful in situations where fault finding and inspection are required, such as manholes that become flooded during wet weather. Once you've selected your enclosure, then you need to consider how to best configure it for the job at hand, and there are two main options. First, with the glands fitted to the lid. Up to three glands can be fitted to the lid and all the cables need to be entered into the capsule from the same direction. Second, the glands fitted to the capsule body. Side entry offers more options in terms of direction and the number of glands that can be fitted as each flat surface of the body can accommodate either one or two separate glands. Once you've decided which of these options best suits the situation, it's time to cut the gland holes in the correct locations. On the lid, the gland locations are marked by three small depressions. Simply locate the pilot drill of the hole cutter into the depression to ensure that the cut will be in the correct position. Once the holes have been cut, the glands can be fitted. For armoured glands, this optional bonding plate is available. This fits into the lid like so. This plate provides bonding for the armour of the cable, as well as holding the lock nut, so to prevent it from slipping. Now let's look at fitting glands to the base of the Wagabox capsule. The side locations are not marked, but these should be positioned along the centre line of the flat surface and at least 45mm apart. The optional side entry bonding plate has some small notches to act as a guide for marking the drill points. 
This guide must be used to ensure the bonding plate can be fitted correctly. Once the glands have been fitted, we're ready to install the cables. When fitting cables to the lid, the length of the core inside the capsule should be approximately 90mm. Note that the bonding plate can be connected using a standard crimp spade terminal. For cables fitted to the sides, the core should extend 40mm beyond the rim so that connectors can be fitted comfortably. Once all the connections have been made, the lid can be fitted to the base. To make fitting the lid easier, we would advise supplying a small amount of silicon grease to the rim and cams of the base. And that is the Wagalox capsule. I hope this video has been informative and if you're interested in purchasing the Wagabox capsule or any other Wagabox products, please visit our website at www.wagabox.com and thank you for watching.